Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking our first look at the Twin Screw XPR2 Combine Harvester from Sid Monning with contributions from KMN Monning. This is for all platforms. Sid Monning's also sent over his 2022 John Deere 9RX, but we're going to save that for another video. Make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss that one. The Birotor XPR2, as it's known in real life, has a completely different architecture than modern Combine Harvesters. The concave coat rotates with the rotor, but it did different speed which allows for a significant increase in threshing and separation capacity. There's only three belts on the entire machine with fewer motors and chains and many fewer parts than today's combine harvesters. The machine also has full tracks across the bottom giving it a dramatic increase in flotation and turning radius. Simply put, the XPR2 was way ahead of its time in 1994. Now that you've got a little bit of history and information on the machine itself, let's take a look at the customization and what you can expect to see once it is released for all platforms which by the way it's already with giants awaiting testing when you guys are watching this we're also going to take it out in the field and get some work done so let's jump right in once it is released you're going to be able to find it in your mods dlc section or combine harvesters and it'll say twin screw xbr2 click on that and you can see right here we got between 306 and 435 or 465 horsepower holds 1220 liters fuel 31 miles per hour max speed oh yeah between 14,100 and 29,100 liter capacity and weighs 18.4 tons and of course does all of your standard crops we've got eight of them total so let's get into it we start off with 306 horsepower and the smallest uh, capacity so let's start with the capacity grain tank extensions we have a standard extension we go up to a medium which by the way medium is 19,100 yeah and then we got the big top 29,100 liter capacity. I don't know for sure, but I think this makes it the largest capacity tank that we've got in Farming Simulator. And if it's not the largest, man, it's close. We're going to stick on the medium just for customization because this is a big top. Numbers. So we've got numbers on the side here. These are going to be on the left side and the right side at the top. And you could choose these between nothing, one, and 19. So you got a lot of numbers right here. Can you imagine running 19 of these on the same map? Yikes. We also have oversized signs. Now we do have oversized signs in the front. Do we have oversized in the back? Yes, we do. So we got a big oversized sign at the top on the back right there. CB radio, yes or no? Now, CB radio is going to be shown inside the cabin right there at the top. And one cool thing about this is the cord actually moves around, which is super cool. Another thing that moves around is this, the straw chopper foil. You guys can see that going on and off right there. You see it's kind of hanging from some O-rings. Well, those actually move around and move about as you're harvesting and as the combine harvester moves so if you want something cool pay that 1400 bucks and get that because it looks awesome we've also got green star on here as well 3000 you can do basically do no standard tablet on the inside which adds you a tablet and then you can do the green star and tablet both engines now We've got plenty of engines here. Some people, I think in Farming Simulator 19, were saying that it uh, wasn't quite powerful enough, but I think you'll find this is powerful enough. We got 306 horsepower, 356, 412, and 465 horsepower. That's going to be more than enough to do literally whatever you want to do. Pipe on the back, you've got your short and the long pipe. If you guys are running, let's say like a 10 meter header or something like that, maybe a little bit smaller, go with that short pipe. If you're running anything larger than 10, go with the longer pipe. And I assume you're going to be using something much larger because it can handle the largest headers that we've got in the game. Lights and configurations. We've got no, we've got extra lights to be added to the front. We've got extra lights that can be added to the back. These are going to be on the very bottom. And then we've got a light on the pipe. And then front and pipe, back and pipe, front and back, all. Just go with all. <laughs> Just go with all. I think there's four or five different stages of lighting. It's pretty sweet. As for your crawler tracks, we've got, I think it's nine or six different options. So we start with the crawler 30. So we have a 30 inch 3D track. Then we've got a 36 inch version of that exact same track. So if you like this singular track, well, stick with that. Now, We've also got a second design as well, a little bit chunkier, and you can go with the 30 or 36 with that. And then we have a third option here, 
This is my favorite, by the way. 30s and 36s. So it looks like we've only got six different tracks to choose from, two 30s and two 36s, but I think you'll find that this is plenty of options, at least for what you guys are wanting to do. I really like these. I, I, maybe they're modern? I don't know. I'll, they look good. And then main color. Now, you can't change the color of the combine harvester, but you can change the color of the green top on the top. Now, if we go back up to that, medium, big tank, standard so the medium and big tank do change color so of course standard is well just standard so there's no change there i do like this so that's what i think i'm gonna leave there and then we do have a license plate as well but for some reason it doesn't look like it's showing up maybe we don't no well, there you go. That is your Twin Screw XBR2. Now, I have been told from Sid Modding that these four headers right here work the best. These are going to be the ones that go, well, supposedly with the Fent Ideal. However, uh, you can choose these however you like. I think today we're going to go with the Fent Dynaflex 9250. This is a 45 foot. It is 12 meters. So we've gone for the larger uh, pipe option. That's not our harvester. This. This is our harvester. One thing to note, because this harvester, or this header rather, does not have a hitch or anything like that, and I haven't used a, uh, a dolly for it, well, we're just having to put it on and transport it, but it does have a trailer hitch on the back. So if you've got a uh, draper head that needs something like that, well, you are good to go. One thing I wanted to show you guys, we'll go ahead and drop off our header real quick. Check out the CB radio. The cord actually moves around. How cool is that? Oh, I love that. I think that's so awesome. And he's even made it to where these uh, these screens actually work. They actually work. Of course, not all parts of them do, but uh, you number, numbers and stuff like that, they'll work. We've got animations down here. You're going through your gears, your brake pedals, gas pedal, everything, clutch, etc. It all works. And we've even got moving parts down here let's see back there i don't think i could really get light on the bottom of the combine harvester but as you can see those areas down there they move they don't have to be there but he made it to where they're there and that's that's just so cool man that's so awesome all right let's cut on some help windows here and let's find out exactly what we got going on so we've got unfold the harvester so let's go ahead and do that move to the side we've got to turn on of course uh straw swath uh turn it on and turn it off we can move that pipe out which is fairly quickly it moves out pretty good i do like that and it looks like we've got something here that we can control and that's gonna be the door yeah cool all right so we are able to do that the light does come on when you open the door that is nice and we've got all this at the top man oh man we got a bunch to it all right so straw swath is enabled. We'll go ahead and cut off all the lights because we really don't need them. And it is really easy to use this thing at first person because the, the uh, harvester is so close to the front, it's pretty easy to maneuver and get it all lined up. Look at that. How close am I? Close enough. <laughs> Let's readjust here just for a little bit. We'll go ahead and uh, hire a worker. So I'm going to lower this by myself, cool beans, and hire worker so that we can take a look at this actually working. So of course we have our straw swath popping out right there. Now the header is what it is. There's not really much we could change with that. Inside we've got a nice seat animation. And then of course we've got a really nice animation of the grain going in. That is pretty cool. Now, we'll say the uh, grain going to the top like that uh, wouldn't happen yet. Not on the big top anyway, but hey, it is pretty cool to see that. And then the choppers at the back as well. Let's see if we can fire this worker real quick and go through and do this ourselves. So I'm going to disable the straw swath. And now those kick on and spread the straw about. Kind of neat. Let's go ahead and uh, enable that straw swath back again. So the, uh, the the things that fling it around stop, and then we get it just kind of spitting out the back. Very, very cool. Now this is extremely capable as well. So if there's somewhere that you want to go or you need to go or something like that, 
this harvester is going to be able to do it because it is all tracks and because there's no wheels on here you're going to be able to find yourself doing things uh well maybe that you shouldn't or maybe that you just want to have fun with for one getting over straw swaths well that was pretty easy i think wasn't it uh you could do quite literally a 180 <laughs> sorry header you could do a 180 just spin it around doesn't matter You've also got really good climbing capabilities yay, because it has such a good, uh, such a good track width right here. Hmm. Oh, this I don't think, yeah, we're not going to be able to do anything with that. I really want to take this thing off roading. One other thing that may want or that may make you want to use this versus something else is it travels at 31 miles per hour. Let's cut everything on right here. You can see down there at the bottom, 31 miles an hour. And it stops on a dime. Let's see how fast we can get up to 31 miles an hour. Three, two, one, go, 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 go. There's 10, 20, 30. Not bad. Not bad at all. It books it, man. It books it. So you've got a really capable combine harvester here. You've got something that looks totally different from probably something you've ever used before, unless you had this in Farming Simulator 19. It's unique. It's got a huge capacity. It's fast. It's all tracks. So it goes just about anywhere you want to. And they move around a little bit. So you're not just flat on the ground all the time. Plus moving parts that we've never seen before. I mean, you should just go ahead and download this. I mean, not right now, of course. It's not out yet. But when it is, go get it. Definitely. This will be on the top five mods of the week for sure. Well, that is it for the Twin Screw XBR2 from Sid Modding. Stay tuned for the video on the 2022 John Deere 9RX coming soon. And keep an eye out on social medias as Sid Modding has also just started work on the John Deere STS series. We got the 5060 and the 6070 series coming with that. You won't want to miss it. And of course, make sure you check out Sid's Facebook and YouTube. Both link below and tell him DJ sent you. With all that out of the way, that is it for today. Hope you enjoyed with the video if you did drop a like get subscribed if you're new and join the go ham fam make sure those notification bells are on as well that way you never miss any videos like this one or future videos here on the channel all being said hope you have a great day we'll see you later peace